day, I can only eat what I catch with my bare hands. Okay, it's 4 a.m. Challenge starts right now. But there's nowhere around me that I can find anything to eat, so I have a plane to catch. All right, this is a real problem. I'm so late that I might not even make my flight. Last call for passenger Ryan Ryan Cunty, Ryan Cunty. I literally could not have been more last minute. That was insane. Officially 9 a.m. and I haven't eaten since about 10.30 last night. That's 100 degrees here. We are trying to survive for 24 hours. Bailey was nice enough to pick me up from the airport and we are on the way to the ocean because we're gonna catch everything we're gonna eat today. So we're gonna go out, we're gonna try to catch fish, crabs, lobster, whatever we can get our hands on because that's the only thing I'm allowed to eat. Well, right, you, you, you can't catch lobster, it's not season, bro. Okay, well, I gotta catch something because I'm not allowed to eat anything else for the next 24 hours. <laughs> this thing is sick, man. So this is your boat, right? Huh? the boat for about what 45 minutes to an hour yeah it's about 45 right. minutes and we're still that close to the beach but we had to come all the way down the coast to find the perfect diving spot where there will be tons of fish bailey's gonna go in right now you, you, now yeah let's get it ah! <laughs> i didn't think you'd actually just do it I don't know how to swim! So I've wanted to do a challenge like this for a long time where I can't go to the store, I can't go to a restaurant, I can't make myself food. I have to find it and forage it. The only thing I can think of is fish. Are there crabs in this? Yeah. Yo, am I gonna get pinched? No, yeah, you should be good. I don't believe you. As long as you don't go close to them, you'll be fine. But how are we gonna catch them if we don't go close to them? That's a good question. Okay. That's a really good question. That's why you're here, right? Bro, I'm nervous. Let me get some sunscreen on. So I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little bit worried to do this because yeah, it's supposed to be safe, but I have no idea what's in the water below us. It's supposed to have a ton of sea life down there. It's an entire reef. That could mean fish, that could mean sharks, that could mean eels, crabs, anything. Things that like me, things that wanna bite me. How many feet down is it? 14. 14 feet down? 14 feet has a lot of active creatures. Great. All right, Bailey's getting footage underwater. Okay, adios. Exhausted. I have like no energy. I'm hoping that maybe we can use the rods to reel something and catch it, eat it. I can get some, you know, nutrients back in my body. Man, that was so much harder than I expected it to be. The guys are down there hunting by hand, but I gotta get in there and catch something too. All right, so we were diving for maybe 45 minutes. We caught nothing. It's too hard to do by hand, so we're gonna sail further out, cast the rods down, hopefully catch something via line. Just gotta eat. All right, what are you looking at? All right, so John Michael. This guy right here, he spent his whole life on these waters. He knows what to eat, how to get it, where to find it, because uh, I don't really get out much. So all those little marks that are right above the bottom, those are fish. Those are fish. So we going for it? Going for it. Okay. All right, you might actually have a chance to eat. <laughs> yeah, I'm shocked. <laughs> I would love to eat. I'm crashing right now. It's like 12.45. I've eaten nothing. Oh, I'm going to rinse my gun. Why oh! is this deep water a shark? Idiot. It's not He's putting bait on the line. Our captain can help guide me, but remember the number one rule. I have to catch what I eat. Nothing anyone else catches can touch these lips. Oh. Ryan, he's, he's almost got you food. No, I can't eat what he catches. Oh. After hours, finally, oh, no. there was hope. Oh. John Michael pulled a fish out of the water. It encouraged me to give it a shot. And sure enough, this is it. about this, but 
I lost the stock thing. Dude, you did it. You're bringing it to the chest. Bring it up front. Here, I was gonna say, yep, there you go. They're the same family, but this one, oh, it has to give me the gap, give me the gap. Give me the gap, give me the gap. I don't know right now. Wait, you gotta go, wait. We're out here for a few hours without anything, but now maybe we're getting four within like five minutes. We're back on the dock. Here are the spoils from this morning. It's early afternoon now. Three lovely little fish. We're gonna take these home. We're gonna prepare them, and then we're gonna cook them and eat them. Tis the circle of life. Okay. Throw some butter in it. Our chef and our captain was nice enough to also cook for us, and I'm starving. Should I go first? You wanna go first? I, I think you should. Hey, Ryan, you've been waiting eight hours okay. now. So what's this called again? Flat fish. So this is called file. File fish. fish. Like filing your nails, like file fish. You just smell amazing. So there we go. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Is it good? There you go. Mm. Oh! Yeah, that was good. Literally. Let me take a nap after this. <laughs> no, don't do that. And although that buttery, tender, delicately sauteed little fish offered some temporary relief, I'd soon be overwhelmed by fatigue again. Luckily, Bailey promised a secret spot. Abundant and tasty little morsels and helpless crabs ripe for easy pickings. Surviving on what you catch for a day. Not the best idea I've ever had and it's been pretty challenging so far. I have to get on a flight back home in three and a half hours. So we gotta catch at least one more thing or else I'm going home hungry and I'll have to find a way to scavenge back at home in North Carolina. All right, right. Whoa, jeez. He just jumped in the water! You can actually eat iguana. I just stepped in iguana poop a second ago. So I actually came here before and I tried to catch a fish with a fork like a month ago. Yo, yo, yo. I... Play, play a clip of him trying to catch it with a fork right now. So I didn't have much luck. So today we're going to try it with our hands where well, Ryan is. And this is the spot that I did it at. It's way more shallow than last time. Yeah, lots of variety, good options. You can even find crabs right here, Ryan. No. Just looking under these rocks. Yeah, definitely. I get pinched by a crab. See, I don't see anything. If I get pinched, I'm gonna be so mad. Oh, oh. I don't know if I wanna eat anything that comes out of here. It smells like butt. And all hope was lost, and we're back to square one. I'm getting angry again. Guys, Bailey's really starting to look like a big chicken tender. Look at this, do you see what I'm seeing? So we caught nothing for the entire rest of the day, and problem is, I gotta catch a flight right now, so Bailey has to drive me an hour to the airport, then I gotta take a two hour flight, then I gotta get home and find some way to eat something before the sun goes down. So, uh, I'm, I feel like I'm getting hangry right now, okay? I have to eat an hour, relax, I'm sorry. All right guys, after another four hours of travel, I am finally back home in North Carolina. Thing is, stomach's rumbling. It's been a lot of flying today. Almost almost eight hours of just traveling back and forth to Florida and then a bunch of hours on a boat. Biggest problem, only one meal has been had. So I'm gonna try fishing at my friend's house right now. He's not here, so he'll have no idea that I'm stealing the fish out of his lake. Uh, I just gotta eat something. And if this doesn't work, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Now, you might be thinking, Ryan, if you could only catch one fish in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean with the help of a fishing expert, surely you have a promising plan to catch fish in your friend's backyard. Nope. Doesn't matter though, because- oh, we got dinner! Come on, hold on, hold on. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Okay, that's dinner. That is food. Woo! This is, this is a bass. This is a fish that people eat all the time, which means finally we have dinner. I had lunch, need some dinner. Boom. This isn't all of it, but I got a little bit of it cooked right here. Let's try it out. Hot. All right, that was pretty tasty, but I need something else. Problem is, sun is going down and it looks like it's going to storm. So I'm gonna run one more place and get a little bit more food in my stomach that can hold me over until this challenge is finally finished. I just hope it doesn't rain on me. Yo, it's raining like crazy now, but I found a strawberry field right here, so I'm gonna pick a few. Don't worry, I got permission. It counts, I am binding what I feast on. Ugh. Looks pretty yummy. Mm. That is by far the best thing I've tasted all day. There we go. Ooh, got some little, little juice on me right there. Mm. Okay, so far so good. It's really starting to rain now, so I'm getting out of here. Comment down below if you like this type of video. Next time, I'll do it bigger, I'll do it better. I'll go by myself, no friends, no help, just me, nature, 
and having to catch my own food for a day. See you guys next time. Peace.